<laughs> and um, this is Tom Overby. And stand up. This is Richard McGuire. We're going to all kind of introduce ourselves to start. So go ahead and start, Tom. Okay, welcome. Um, I'm Tom Overby. Um, I'm the one of the original founders of Power World and developed the original Power World code. Uh, that occurred while I was a professor at University of Illinois. I spent uh, 25 years at University of Illinois. Retired from there in 2016, and then in 2017 joined Texas A&M. So I've been working at Texas A&M uh, since then. Uh, a little bit of back about me. I'm originally from Wisconsin. I got all my degrees at the University of Wisconsin, Madison. Uh, worked as a utility engineer at Madison Gas and Electric, initially in the planning area, and then spent most of my time in operations working on an EMS. Uh, I worked on the EMS that was originally produced by the ESCA. We had ESCA System 3, so I got to know ESCA. Of course, ESCA became Alstom, Arriva, now GE. Uh, we actually, Alstom, Arriva, Alstom, Arriva. Yeah, yeah, they bounce back. <laughs> but, um, we actually have one of their systems now at Texas A&M, so I'm getting reacquainted with their system. We're, we're setting up like a prototype control center there, so it's uh, kind of cool to be doing. Um, over the years, I've taught many power system analysis classes. Uh, I'm also the author of the widely used power system analysis and design text. Uh, I wasn't one of the initial authors that came on on the fourth edition. On the third edition, they put in a Power World, and the fourth edition, I came on as an author, and the latest edition is the sixth edition. I know some of you want an autograph, so <laughs> <laughs> happy, happy to do that next to church. Um, I, I also developed Power World. Uh, Power World started out as code I wrote when I was a grad student, and then in 93, we were working at Illinois on a project funded by Eprion Power System Dynamics and Visualization. And then I merged that code with the code that I had developed for power um, flow analysis, and it debuted as Power World. We didn't call it Power World Simulator, but they debuted at a Edison Electric Institute class that we had at University of Illinois in 1994. And uh, we incorporated Power World in 1996. Uh, Mark Waffenberg and I and two other faculty members, uh, Jamie joined as a grad student. I guess you're already there, but you weren't involved in the initial startup, but you were just yeah, about four months since later. Then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. One of the more fun things I got to do is be a, a DOE investigator for the August 14, 2003 blackout. I got to know Don Watkins from BPA as a result of that. I'm also in the uh, National Academy of Engineering. Uh, this is a partial group of my students. Uh, I like to have them over in my house every semester. Uh, we haven't done that yet this fall. I mean, this spring. I guess we didn't do it in fall. But um, that's a fun part of being a professor is to get to work on with all these great students. So um, that's, I guess, the bunch as they were last year. And Jamie right. Weber. Uh, my name's uh, Jamie Weber. I am also from the great state of Wisconsin. Ironically. <laughs> yeah, we do like the Packers. Yeah, we like the Packers and the Badgers. <laughs> uh, I, I worked as, actually the only job I had outside of Power World was as, as an intern at Wisconsin Power and Light while I was in college. That's now part of the American Transmission Company, is ATC is what they got folded into. Um, I left to go to grad school in 1995 with a young professor there named Tom Overby. And I started working at this little software company while I was in grad school, thinking eventually I'd have to get a real job. And now it's 25 years later, <laughs> and I'm still there. So I, I worked on, you know, I, I was working at the company throughout my master's and PhD. It actually was a rather weird, awkward conversation with my advisor as to how much of the company I got if I stayed in grad school long ago. <laughs> It was a healthy conversation to have with, <laughs> as a young student. <laughs> um, since that time, I've led the software development at Power World. Um, so you know me, you know Caroline, you know Matt, you know Angel, Kyle. You know, basically, I mean, we're not 
they, they wouldn't call me their manager. I wouldn't really think of that. It's just more like we get together and decide what to work on throughout. So I've kind of filled that role throughout. Power World's pretty small. There's about eight or ten developers. So just as a team, we work on, on stuff. All right, and for this, Tom and I are going to talk a lot more about the theoretical. I mean, that's what you want, but from this training. Uh, however, I talked to Tom, and I was like, you and I are too much to listen to for two or three solid days. We need some practical stuff thrown in there. So we went out looking at our customer base, and we were like, all right, who do we know who's a good presenter, who has actually done and used the software as opposed to making it? <laughs> So we talked to Richard McGuire, and I'll let him introduce himself, but he's going to do the more, like, why do you even care about the theory of what Tom and I are talking about? Yeah, I'm the comic relief for all the smart guys. <laughs> <laughs> any nukes? It's typically a Navy nuke at, uh, any nukes today at Bonneville? No nukes? Really? It's pretty good. Okay. Right out of high school, went <laughs> reactor power, you know, did the whole Navy thing, which paid for school, which was a lovely thing. Uh, NAU, the only reason why I went to NAU was because I wanted to go mountain biking. Not the brightest guy right out of the Navy. My, my, my focus was either anything mountain biking, so Colorado State or NAU. NAU got back first, so there we went. Really hardware development, I was a digital guy right out of college. Went to HP Boise, did hardware design for laser jets for a number of years. Moved my family up to Spokane to get them near folks, which is an RF. Matt and I were talking about the love hate with RF, so you can love RF and digital, you know, DSP type stuff. You can get into that. Did that for a number of years. Um, HP Agile and Split, right? HP took the printers and computers and then kicked the rest of us to the curb, test equipment type folks, and that business folded up in Spokane. They all moved back to Santa Rosa. Nobody wanted to go to Santa Rosa, so actually took a hiatus between here and here. Went to seminary for a while. That was kind of fun. And then joined a Vista. Anyway, no Tracy, Rolstad. You know, Tracy and I were you know, best friends in the Navy. So it was an odd thing. Tracy was pitching the utility business to me for a long time, saying, hey, we don't lay people off like you consumer product folks. And he was, he was mostly right. I have heard of people getting laid yeah. off in the utility business. But did 10 years with him, Tracy, uh, John Gross. Some of you might have worked with John or Simran Bazrai from PG&E. They're just a, an odd collection given the Vista's not all that big. Spent seven or eight years there and then got a call from electrical consultants. They wanted to grow their transmission planning study stuff, so I went with them and I've been working with, it's kind of fun working with some of your customers who typically have, Matt and I were talking, they'll have one engineer. Doesn't matter what the discipline is, they could be a civil for their whole company and they just don't have the capacity to do the stuff that we do. So a lot of what I do is work with Northwest and West Coast type smaller PUDs doing typically all the compliance stuff for them because they just don't have the capacity to run power flow and stability. They, they, they just can't hire, so they hire out us, which is kind of nice. Been using Power World for a long time. I somehow fell into the academic advisory board at WSU for senior capstone projects. Um, so we try to host some of those at WSU each year to get them some access to, I don't know how many WSU folks here? Because I don't know about you, the undergraduate stuff, you, you, you solve your five bus case, but you really don't get access to power system analysis until really graduate school. And so we try to offer projects to get them into this type of stuff in undergraduate, doing the stuff that you do so that when they show up here, they might actually be able to help you from day one. Not saying they do, but, but the hope is that they do. And yeah, I'll be the comic relief for this stuff, and I plan on learning like you, because I don't get access to these guys live all that often. Yeah, well, I just have an outline. Yep. Okay, so this is what we're going to go through. Um, this morning I'm going to do an introduction on grid uh, models and simulation. That should be a review for just about everybody here. Um, if after that when you're thinking, oh, this class seems too basic, uh, Jamie's going to talk about synchronous machine modeling right after me, and that will seem less basic. <laughs> Uh, then I'll talk about, uh, or then Richard's going to talk about electric grid dynamic studies, then I'll talk about exciters and governors uh, to finish up today. Um, tomorrow, Jamie's going to talk about modeling electric loads, Richard's going to talk about debugging the models, Jamie's going to talk about transient stability design, and I'll talk about modal and signal analysis, something that we just added into simulator. 
uh, recently, and actually Jamie has just gotten interested in, which was gratifying. Finally. Um, <laughs> yeah, finally. Uh, on uh, Thursday, Jamie's going to talk about the wind, modeling of wind and solar systems. Richard will give some case studies. I'll talk about oscillations and stabilizers and a bunch of other things as we have time and interest here. Okay, um, before we go on, I thought it'd be good if we could go around and just, if you could introduce yourselves, that would help us too, and just say, you know, your name and what you work on. Actually, what's in particular, I always want to know, do you care about tomorrow, a week from now, or four years from now? That's because <laughs> I know that's basically the, the divide. <laughs> it's like, what do you study? So, yeah, yeah. Uh, Corey Beck, um, I'm actually with uh, the short term ATC team. Um, I guess I would probably care about a month from now. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm Jeff Carter, I work with uh, um, uh, the operations planning department and we uh, take uh, from essentially, I'm not sure where the real time takes over, but call it a day to a year, somewhere in that range. Yeah. But mostly I do three week efforts. I'm Richard Schaefer with Transmissions Planning, we're looking at the year. I'm James Randall, I'm the supervisor for Transmission Grid Modeling and we care about all of them. Fair enough. I would like to call out James because when I first started working at, with you guys 20 some years ago, I was working with James mostly. And I talked to him like two or three day, times a week. And I always remember because for like four or five years after that, he would call me on my birthday every year. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be like, hey, it's James. I'm like, What's up? And he'd be like, happy birthday. He, he eventually quit doing that. <laughs> word word but, got around. But, the expectation <laughs> was so high. But I always remember that. He's very friendly. <laughs> Go ahead. Kevin Johnson, uh, short term ATC, and we're looking out months. Audrey Stevenson, author of Sunday Night, and I care about the Today, to one year out. James Wall, operations planning, today or one year out. We also tied out at MCC, so we're Spokane. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're the two Spokane. Yes. So you moved there when Steve left. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm Lacey Barnett, I'm long term transmission planning, and I don't know, I'm like two to ten years out, so this is more just to keep up with what's in the program nowadays. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm Austin Lynn. I'm a recent grad with TD, so uh, I'm part of those students that have used this once and don't really know it at all. <laughs> so I'm just here to learn. <laughs> Great. So Chairman is transmission planning um, with Richard here. Yeah. Operations planning data here. I'm Brown Kusama, transmission planning for 10 years. All in transmission planning for 10 years. Okay. John Bass is operations planning, same time frame. Nick Haggerty, operations planning. Eric Craig, operations planning, same morning day here. Uh, thanks for writing Power Wolves and Gas Student, it's made my job so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you wrote my textbook. I do want an autograph. Dogs, your charge. <laughs> Daniel Krauss, Diani, same thing, Bath operations by law. Joe Mercer, operations. <laughs> he can't sign that, Thanks, Ashley. <laughs>